There is one last type of operation to discuss in the graphics, controls. In this context, there are several types of controls. You might have direct breaker controls connected through communications, as we do here. Maybe you're writing a point into a PLC to perform controls. Or you might need to configure an onboard set point on a device. We're going to focus on the first case in this video. In the graphics editor, we'll start in the miscellaneous component library. I want to be able to control my utility breaker, so I'll drag out the control component. This has a very simple operating method. When you click the button, the script here takes the name of the component, combines it with the property data point, and opens a pop-up that allows you to perform an open or close operation. Those are all important details that we'll get to. First, I'll select my component and select the device I want to bind it to in order to set the name. While I'm here, I'll copy the control point that I want the button to drive and paste it into the data point property. However, I don't need the entire equipment name, just the item. So I'll cut out everything except CTL underscore BKRPOS. And that is all I need to do for this button to work. Let's go back to the web HMI and take a look. Now, if I click on my control button, I get a pop-up asking for whether I want to open or close the breaker, and I must re-enter my credentials. If the operation is successful, another pop-up will tell me so. Now you can see my breaker is open on the one-line diagram. I'll re-close this before I go on. There is one other common action here. What if you want to click on the breaker itself to operate instead of a separate button? We also have a control snippet that performs the same operation as the button. If I add the snippet to my breaker, it adds the same link and script, and the component name is already set. I do have to add a new property called data point for the controls item. Now I can click the breaker itself to see the pop-up. This is the most basic method of controlling a breaker where the device type offers a single digital control tag. In the next video, we'll look at some different options for writing variable tags directly from the diagrams. Until then, thank you.